So I heard recently that it takes forever to get going on your motorcycle. Once you get done putting on your helmet and your gloves and all your gear and all that stuff, what was the number? 10 minutes? Once you start loading up your motorcycle like you're going out to take photos? <laughs> That's cute. So let's see, we have filters, an extra lens, the camera, the lens on that. We have the gimbal. We have this tripod that needs to be loaded up. Extra batteries, lens wipies, memory card, more extra batteries. Did I forget anything? I don't think so. I think we're ready. Hey, thanks for joining me for another Talking Tuesday. For those of you who survived 420, which is like International Weed Smoking Day or something like that, and 421, which is International Random Drug Testing Day. So I kind of got lost on the way over here. Well, I wasn't lost, I was trusting the adventure. I'm here at the Cypress Garden boat landing, and it's just a gorgeous day out. It was a great day for riding, so I didn't mind getting a lot, I mean, trusting the adventure, and uh, it was a good ride anyways. You know, I read a post the other day. I've actually been seeing a lot of posts where people are doing things on their bikes. You know, that it's their bikes, and they're, they're gonna hurt themselves. But I see so many people who are like, oh, I hope he kills himself, or I hope he wrecks, or dude, is a biker? I would never wish that on anybody. As a human being, I wouldn't wish that on anybody. But that's not what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about is, if you could load up your garage or the side of your street or wherever your bike is parked, what bikes would you add to your collection? If you could pick a maximum of five, assuming you don't have to get rid of your current bike, if you could just, if they could magically appear. What? So I think for me, the number one, you know, I don't want to get rid of my, my wide glide. I love my wide glide, but my number one other bike that I would like would be a 75 Honda CB750. I don't mean cafe'd out or modified, I mean restored and original. And if one shows up in my garage, I will love it like it's my own. Actually, it would be my own. My number two bike, I think would be the Yamaha R6. Now the reason I say that and not the Kawasaki H2, which is a far sexier bike. I love the Kawasaki H2. But I actually started pricing out the H2 and I thought, this is way more motorcycle than I will ever use. I would spend all my time keeping the front end down. I just don't need it. I would have just as much fun and probably be a lot safer for everybody involved if I just had the Yamaha R6 and it would be cheaper. Now I don't know enough about the Triumph Bonnevilles to, to give you a specific year that I would like, that's a fine motorcycle right there. I would love to have one of those. You say, but Chris, none of these bikes are long bikes. They're not choppers. They're not this, that, or the other thing. We like what we like, right? My first bike was a Suzuki. I think it was a 750 GZ maybe. I'd have to look it up, but it was like water cooled. My understanding is it was a beast when it was let loose. Now mine was dangerous because when I picked it up, the guy had rebuilt it. And I think a lot of the spare parts were in the trunk. And at the time in California, I didn't have a license. So I tried not to, not to act a fool on it, but I would like to get another one of those. That would be cool just for nostalgia's sake, if nothing else. And I think to top it all off, just to bring it back to what you would expect, I think I would like to get a 46 knuckle. That would be great. 46, 47, somewhere in that area. The problem with me buying a sport bike is that I don't think I'd use it very often. I love my wide glide and I want to ride it all the time. So, you know, when do you break off and ride the sport bike? I, I don't know, just, just for a change? That's a lot of money just to have a bike once a week, maybe once every two weeks, just to get out for a change. I just don't know. I would like to do something cool with the 72, but that's not a dream bike, that's a project bike, that's a plan. So I was asking the question about whether or not I should go to Joshua Tree or whether or not I should put the money into building the 72, because I really don't think I have enough money to do both right now, maybe by fall. And I had at least one person respond, <coughs> Big Bad Wolf Moto, <coughs> and say that I should do the 72 because Joshua Tree will always be there. And you know, my first reaction to his reaction was, yeah, he's right. So although I desperately want to go to Joshua Tree, like desperately, 
I want to go to Joshua Tree out in the desert, like some people want to go to Hawaii, but mine is much more affordable. But I think I'm going to build the 72. Do it, get it out of the way, and who knows, maybe that is the bike I ride out in the desert. So that'd be cool. So that series is going to be coming up, I guess. Hopefully everybody saw the congregation show. That was a lot of fun. Beautiful, beautiful bikes. So tell me, if you could just have them show up, what else would you like in your garage? Limit them to five. You don't need to come up with five, but try and limit them to five. This would be a tough one for Jay Leno. Just some other stuff coming up. We've got Myrtle Beach. We've got the smoke out in June. I'm trying to work out some other stuff, some rides and things to show you that I think will be interesting. I really appreciate the support everybody's given me. That the channel is just really starting to bloom. Instagram is starting to light up. My Facebook is starting to get active. The blog. Maybe I should do a video on just all the stuff that I'm doing everywhere and how to see it. The Charleston Air and Space Show is coming up next weekend. And I'm going to get over to that and bring you with me. I haven't looked yet to see if the Thunderbirds are still going to show up. I know they were talking about resuming training. I don't know if they're resuming shows yet. The information's out there for me. I just haven't gotten it yet. Certainly, I hope they're there. But even if they don't show up, it's going to be a great show. There's a lot of other people flying and a lot of exhibits and stuff to check out. That said, I appreciate you showing up. I appreciate your time. Hope you're still digging the channel. There is a crab right there. He's, he's right there. He's not moving now. Of course not. Camera shy. That said, I'm gonna go get some riding in and uh, get off this riverbank before some alligator comes up and has his way with me. I will see you next time. Thanks.